having dealt with the raiders in the region and you know had a bit of a display of strength the red caps have gone back to trying to find missions and actually getting some money and this has been a little bit more difficult seeing as javier is currently in the infirmary having picked a fight with alpha and having having his ass handed to him but it's okay the rest of the team is ready to pick up the slack find a job and go and beat something up uh, to this end um ash has done a bit of training mainly because they are they're, they're definitely falling behind the rest of the crew and yeah you know, they've got um still only plus one experience but every little helps at this point there's not that many missions left so let's try and get them into an actual decent combat position i guess <laughs> uh, gunner and red um, went out to look for patrons and they managed to find another job with the organization it doesn't pay particularly well but it's paying work and it's better than literally nothing which is nice <laughs> uh, alpha and blue went out and traded and between them they found a bit of scrap that they flipped for a credit and they also got a medi patch which should help them if anyone gets injured which never know in this job never know <laughs> Uh, Deirdre did some exploring and found a lovely new person who gave them, um, they gave her a quest rumor, which I don't think is going to come, uh, you know, come up anywhere, but you never know. I mean, we've got four turns left. We might just get another quest done, but only if the dice go very, very well. They didn't go there well this time, so we're doing a patron mission for the organization. And we have private transport, which means rivals cannot attack us. Yay! So it's now on to the mission. So here we are on a slightly different battlefield to what we're used to. Uh, this is one of the more open areas of the Oculus. It is designed as a larger, like, tank um tank battle area and uh, it is where this group of ferals has been um camping out ferals are uplifted aliens that are based on canine dna they're essentially they're alien werewolves uh the majority these two groups are armed with hand lasers the uh, one in the, the lead of the um, uh, four strong unit is a boss, his unique individual that's ridiculously tough in combat. Uh, the um, uh, other pointing one is the lieutenant. The three on the other flank are armed with marksman's rifles and the one pointing there is also a lieutenant. Uh, the uh, crate here is a um uh it's shiny bits and you get plus two experience experience if you can get to it which again i don't think i'm going to and the reason i've been ha happy going with such an open battlefield is because we've got the gloomy trait which means that visibility on this field is a whole nine inches so it's really going to screw the um heroes and it's really going to help the um Bayotans. Not the Bayotans, ferals. They're, I'm calling them I'm gonna call them ba the Bayotans a lot because they're the Bayotan models from um alternative armies and I absolutely love them. These are some of my favorite fifteen millimeter models. So I'm very glad we finally get a chance to actually use them. But we are outnumbered and we now have plus three to savvy. So that is an 11, which is enough. We can seize the initiative, run forward, up the, and the objective is fight off. So we just have to kill all 10 of these guys, which it'll be fine. It'll all be fine. <laughs> 
Okay, the team has moved up into the crates. Uh, if they can get a hold, a hold of the um, central area, uh, getting cover from these guys will be a very good thing. Because between hand lasers and plus one combat, they're actually quite accurate. Especially seeing as, you know, once they get into nine inches. Yeah, yeah, it'll be pretty bad. So, <laughs> um, it's going to be important to get some good reaction rolls. Uh, exactly one person can move in, and you know what? It's going to be Javier. Uh, Javier is the toughest member of the team, with luck, toughness, five, and armor. So, I guess he's going to dash in, and then this lot are going to react. Okay, we're starting with the boss. Uh, the boss has moved up, has combat plus two, so he's fours to hit him behind the cover. He hits damage two, so he's threes to injure. He injures, and um, yeah, I've uh, got a save of five. Fails, oh no, oh god. Um, he's got a point of luck, so he dodges. Luckily, four inches backwards, which is going to save out of the gloom everyone else. Which hilariously means the only person who has shot is going to be the captain, so everyone's going to be able to light them up. Which is actually really, really useful. Okay, um, Alpha has moved up here, and he's going to take two rounds into the um, Feral Chieftain. Hits automatically, he needs fives to wound. Oh, that is... Oh, it was a one. It was a yeah. Failed. So that is two stun tokens into it, knocking it back two inches. And the problem I've got here is that it's it is just opening up so many of the my uh, my teammates to getting shot at, which I'm not a gigantic fan of. You might not believe. Ash is going to activate now for the first time. They're going to use a psionic power. Uh, they have got barrier, is it barrier, psionic shield, the one that gives a force field, and they're going to try and cast it on um, Javier. So, the way this works is you roll 2d6, and if you get over the, um, equal to or over the distance, then you cast the ability. So, uh, I've just measured, it is 10 inches, you have to do this before you move, so... It's five. Okay. You can try and um, push it as an additional D6. And you... Oh, there's a, no, there's a one in six chance it's going to succeed. So he's going to fail at that. Just um, slightly push forward. Um, and get nothing, basically. I mean, they are then going to move forward and actually take a shot. So, Ash has moved up, and they are going to take two shots into the Chieftain. They are at plus three combat, so uh, they need three to hit. So, two hits. Okay, either can take them down, but you're going to need two fives to kill the um, Chieftain, otherwise they're going to get knocked out. I will take that, if I'm being entirely honest. Uh, it's kind of lit up um, Alpha. <laughs> And um, Ash, uh, Ash especially, is in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of snipers bearing down on them. But it'll be fine. We'll work this out. We'll, all work, we'll work it all out. We've knocked out the Chieftain, at least, which is quite nice, because the Chieftain gives um, morale bonuses of um, plus, uh, plus one to the morale. But when you take them out, you roll two dice instead of one, which is really useful for making this lot run away. So Deirdre has run up here and is going to hose down the um, lieutenant and the um, other one with their auto with her auto rifle. So uh, lieutenant dies on a four. Hey, the um, other one dies on a four. Yeah. So Deirdre is just so much better at this than <laughs> poor Ash. Uh, <laughs> like Ash tries so hard, but Ash just does not have the skills and also was going after a considerably tougher enemy 
which is not great. Um, also, just hit me. Um, so I don't think you get a. I oh know you. He would have a stun. Okay, so Javier would have a stun token. Well, Javier is already activated. What we're talking about? It, Javier will still have a stun token. Um, don't mind me. I'm just doing things horrifically out of order, but I do need to save Javier's life. Uh, next up, I've got to, to do that. I have Gunner and Red. Red is useless to me right now. Uh, so we're down to Gunner to try and get a few more kills in. So uh, Gunner has run up and the only one who is in nine inches is the Lieutenant. So um, two shots, need a four. Yep, the Lieutenant is dead. Like, it's worth doing this because the Lieutenants do not run. Everyone else runs, the Lieutenants do not run. And we're currently on five panic rolls for six people. I don't think Red's only got a shotgun and a handgun, so don't think they're going to quite be able to manage it. We'll, we'll see. They, I doubt it, though. Uh, no, no, Red couldn't get into range. Doesn't mean Red hasn't shot. Red and um, uh, Javier are actually kind of fine. Uh, what we do have is five panic rolls and Ferals run on a one or a two. So please, not one. Oh dear. Um, as we go into turn two, gonna really, really need some great um, thingy roll, um, initiative rolls. Or uh, several of my side are going to get, start getting shot at, and no one can take that anymore, which is bad. Okay, time to for turn two's initiative rolls, and the initiative rolls are I basically get, okay three activations. I'm going to go with Javier. Deirdre, no, I'm not going to go with Javier. Deirdre, Gunner, and Alpha. So, my thinking is between them, I reckon I can. I can if Gunner goes after these two, if did if Deirdre goes after these three, and Alpha goes after this one. I reckon we might have about three enemies shooting back. Hopefully, this is... Yeah. Uh, I think yeah, some, something is going to get the shot back, and it might cause something very, very nasty to happen. So, here's hoping... Uh, starting over here, Gunner has moved behind this wall and is going to hose them, uh, hose these two, one in each. Uh, left, then right. So left is dead. Right is not dead. But they are stunned, so that's almost as good. Uh, Deirdre has moved over to here. It's going to take two shots, one into the middle one, one into the um, one on the, uh, the right, the spare left. So the middle one is dead. The other one is also dead. Okay, this is going considerably better than I thought it was going to. On to Alpha. Yeah, uh, Alpha is going to take two shots into this dude. For, yep, that's that one dead. So, yeah, there are two ferals left on the board. One is stunned, one is fine. And it's the one that's fine that is going to be the problem here. Ah. Okay, uh, this one has moved up to the corner and recovered its stun. 
This one has moved up here and is going to take a shot at Deirdre. Deirdre is within six inches of budding cover. So with plus one combat and um, snapshot, the feral needs threes to hit. They hit. Deirdre is only toughness three. Yeah, did we have a point of lock? I actually forgot about this. Okay, cool. Scared the hell out of myself for a second. Deirdre dodges three inches that way. Basically, yeah, three inches up the wall. Probably just slamming into um Alpha. As yeah, I hopefully we can <laughs> finish both of these guys off. Otherwise. Ah, Oh, well, Javier is going to stand where he is and take two shots of his shotgun into this guy. Needs a three to kill. Yep, yep. That one is dead. Um, One left, but the problem is it's all on Ash to... I don't even think Ash can get the kill purely because Ash is... Um, not fast enough. If we're being honest, uh, that one hasn't shot yet, so no one can see it. So yeah, Ash and Red are not fast enough to get within nine inches, which is a problem. Yep, yep. Uh, Ash and Red have moved up, but cannot get within nine inches of the last um, feral. So yeah, uh, time for a random battlefield event. That event is 39. Snapshot. Select a fighter in your crew. That they have the they may fire a weapon immediately. If the weapon is a pistol, it hits automatically. Otherwise, roll to hit as normal. I mean, to be entirely honest, gunner is right there. I think it's gunner in range. <laughs> well, that's that's five inches. I didn't buy it out far enough. <laughs> Ah, uh, so maybe he's within nine, so hits automatically, one, four, and more to kill. Cool. Sometimes battlefield events do help out. Great also could have run well, the five um, panic. Let's see if it, they run away instead. Uh, yeah, they would have run away anyway. So, yeah. We have cleaned up, but that was actually incredibly close. I'm actually... There is part of me, I, I think this would be a joke in normal circumstances, but in gloomy or like low visibility circumstances, I might do some more open battlefields that are more designed for larger engagements or like, I, in my mind, this is for tank battles or something. Just, you know, a bunch of scattered crates and walls for like larger areas. Yeah, um, quite a cool time of tense. I liked it. Let's go on to the post battle. Life is going good with another victory under the belt. The ferals have been driven off from the area and the organization is very happy. Uh, they are happy to the tune of gaining seven credits. Uh, they've given us two quest rumors um which means we're up to three you might get another quest done you never know uh we've also got a damaged flak vest and a damaged laser sight uh which we can repair up and sell off so yeah um everyone has uh got more a ton of experience and some more stuff uh so um Ash has gone up an additional point of combat, and Deirdre, Alpha, Javier, and Gunner have all gone up plus one toughness, uh, which puts Javier at... Javier's at toughness six. He is the first toughness six character in the game. He is incredibly hard to kill now. And, yeah, we, we like this. Um... On top of that, uh, the crew have sold some spare cargo off and got an additional six credits for a total of 13 from this game. And Alpha has had a bit of time to 
reflect on his experiences and see where life is going and has gained an additional point of experience which well almost certainly at this point we spent on toughness if we can get the entire team up to toughness six then hell yes um <laughs> and yeah um it's generally it's been a good mission been a good time all around uh I'm I'm liking the ferals. I like them a lot. I'm kind of disappointed we didn't get them as rivals because if we can get them back again, that would have been great. But here we are. There's still plenty of missions left to see them come back. And if you want to see them again, you know where to find it on this here channel. Subscribe so you can see them as soon as they turn up. Um, you know, tell me what comment down below tell me what your favorite alien in five parsecs is and if you don't you know have your five parsecs rules firstly pick them up and tell me if i sent you <laughs> secondly yeah um just any alien or any alien species from any um setting anything at all i'm morbidly curious to find out what everyone's going for and I cannot wait to absolutely forget I've asked this question and just get people naming random aliens at me. Which, oh, it's great. I, I love it when I forget what the question is. And <laughs> I just get random things. I'm just like, wait, what? Wait, what? Just brilliant. Love it every time. And until then, um, yeah, um, thanks so much for watching. And have a great night. Bye.